the current meat industry also isn't great for the environment. Can you elaborate on that? Aside from the emissions, which represent a huge amount and have caused irreversible damage, you know, it, not, it's not just fossil fuels. The industrial meat production system has contributed irreversible damage to the climate and has been driving global warming. How so? So through the energy mm -hmm. used, the methane produced through parts of production. I can get into some gross stories of how I've been one of the only journalists to see hog manure lagoons and the biogas chambers. And have people been <laughs> killed in those? Yes. <laughs> like that's how, is it because there's such disgusting chemicals in there or like, can you explain? Both. Like, I mean, some of the, sometimes the noxious fumes are so bad that they truly asphyxiate and can't breathe anymore. And there's drowning, people die trying to fall in or trying to rescue other workers. It's, so imagine what's, what that's doing to the environment. Yeah, no, so that's that's just, so taking a step back, I mean, not, it's not, all, my point is that it's not only the emissions. Mm -hmm. it, obviously it's one of the main uses of fossil fuels and one of the main drivers of emissions. But aside from that, meatpacking has been harming waterways specifically. In, in really heinous ways, pollution, groundwater damage, um, soil damage from that. Um, on top of that, there's been a lot of air pollution that has really gone unchecked, just, again, despite things like the Clean Air Act. Um, and then you also have just constant land use issues, you know, as, as meat is increasing, it's taking up a lot of land and then making that land less productive in some ways. And overall though, one of the other biggest drivers which we didn't talk about is just what they're actually eating. I mean, these livestock, when they're produced in industrial settings, they eat a lot of corn, they eat a lot of soy, and that corn and soy itself and all those other commodities that are going into the feed have been farmed itself with harmful chemicals and pr creating a system of monoculture where diver biodiversity is being lost and soil health is just com being completely eroded. And so that's one aspect of it. The waste is another aspect of it. All these things roll together and meat has had a huge impact on the climate. So the plant-based industry was really touted as this way to combat these climate challenges. But you write in the book that quote, it's sometimes hard to differentiate between businesses that say they are doing right by the environment and ones that actually are. Can you speak to that? Absolutely, and that goes for meat as well as all the plant-based brands and alternative proteins you're seeing at the grocery stores. They have so much investor money behind these plant-based brands that there's been this frenzy to profit, this frenzy to grow as, quick, as big as possible, but there hasn't been a lot of emphasis on actual sourcing and you know all the different ramifications that has been impacted by the environment. And so you know you don't see any change whatsoever in terms of what ingredients are being used in these products. It's still the same harmfully farmed commodities and promoting, you know, diversity loss and soil erosion and horrible things that could really create the next dust bowl, you know, as an aside. Um, so, you know, I think the plant-based alternatives have a lot of environmental questions around them. They also have a lot of health questions around them. You know, they're ultra processed foods, with a lot of additives, they're not whole nutrients. And there's a lot of different, you know, supplemental additives being put in there to mm -hmm. add flavor science and different things. And so what do you think that these industries, both meat and plant-based, could do to move towards more ethical practices, both especially in the meat industry when it comes to workplace safety, but for both for environmental safety as well? I mean, there's there's countless reforms that could be made that would improve so many different aspects of what's been happening here. You know, anything, you know, even on the financial side of things, talk about, you know, reporting that happens for insider trading. Why can't all meet purchases on the open markets be reported and have those prices be, you know, discoverable and even not on the open markets? I think transparency and accountability overall would be super powerful on so many different levels of the problems. But would we ever get to a point that you think that the meat industry would be transparent even a little more? Uh, there's huge transparency issues. I think I would, I, it would be hard to trust. It really would. I think no matter what though, we will have to have the meat industry work hand in hand with better for you meat producers and other sustainable farmers and everything we need to make this food system 
stronger and healthier and more sustainable because there's just like not enough time to waste. Climate change is getting worse by the day and they have so many assets, so many people working for them, so much structure in place that it just has to be used. It has to be repurposed towards better systems.